Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the split tone panel that's found in the develop module of On One Photo Raw 2018. For this image, I already did some basic tone and color processing. I added some sharpening and luminance noise reduction, and I did lens corrections. Now I'd like to add split toning to the image. To do that, click on Show More, then click on Split Tone. Now, the split tone panel is one of those panels in On One that will do something to your image as soon as you turn it on. And you may have noticed, as soon as I turned on the split toning panel, it added some toning to the image. There is before and there is after. So be aware of that. Now, what does split toning actually do? Well, it allows you to color tone the highlights one way whilst color toning the shadows a different way. And the reason why you might want to do that is just for creative purposes. You want to give your image a certain type of look. And you could do that with colors. And you could tone the highlights one way and the shadows a different way to give that type of look you're going for. The other reason you may want to do it is to imitate a look. Most often, we use split toning to imitate like a film look in our shot. The other thing we often do is we use split, split toning to imitate what is called a cross-processing look. In the days of film, we would often shoot one type of film, but use the wrong chemical to develop that film. And when we did that, often we would get a very bizarre look to our image. Most common, we'd use print film, and we develop print film with slide chemicals. So for chemicals for slide film. And it would give the image a certain look that was very unique. And again, you could easily duplicate that with the split tone panel. Now, the panel itself is pretty typical as far as these panels in the develop module of On One Photo Raw 2018 in that it has along the top the styles. And the styles have a little color swatch with them to give you an idea what it will do to your image. And the first one is cool. The next one is oats. And you can see the image changes considerably. Next one is ocean. The next one is teal. The next one is warm. Then to the right of warm, we have a drop down. And in that drop down, we have some more of these styles. In, it includes the styles we just clicked on. Now, the first two, blue, orange, and blue, yellow, are often looks we give our image for that um, old-time film look. And, and again, with these, like, all on one things, all you have to do is hover over any of these, and on one will give you a preview of that style on your image. So there is blue, orange. There is blue, yellow. Then there's cool, which we already touched upon. There's denim. There's green, yellow. There's oats, which we already touched upon. Ocean, which we already did. Red, cyan. There's teal. And then finally, there's warm, which we already touched upon. So it does come with a lot of these preset styles. And quite often, you could just use one of these styles and get in and out and kind of tone your image in a very uh, optimum way with one of these styles. But the times that a style doesn't really satisfy you, you could come down to the sliders and dial in a precise adjustment that is unique to you. Now, you'll notice that we have two major sections, highlights and shadows, and each of those sections has two sliders, hue and amount. Now, for the highlights here, if I move hue to the right, we're actually going to be toning the highlights warmer and then eventually cooler. So we get some cooler tones as we move the hue slider to the right. The amount slider is the intensity or the saturation of that hue. So the more I move it to the right, the more saturated I'll make it or more intense I'll make that color. So you could really come in and dial in an exact tone for your highlights. Similarly, for shadows, you have those same two sliders. And we have that hue slider where we go from warmer tones 
through to cooler tones and the amount will do the saturation or intensity of that tone that we're using. Now, you could actually fine tune this a little further with the balance slider. What the balance slider allows you to do is have one uh, color or one part dominate over the other. For example, if I really like the highlights tone and I want it to really go into the midtones and even into the shadows a little further, I would go to the balance slider and move that to the right. So I'm upsetting the balance. I'm allowing the highlights to take over the image, the highlight tones, color tones. Moving it to the left, I will upset the balance the other way, and I'm letting the shadow tones dominate the image a little more. So that is what balance does. Now, the other thing you could do is you could swap the settings you have with highlights with the settings you have for shadows by clicking this little button with the circular arrow. And when I click that, we're just swapping them. You could see in this case it did kind of a weird look, but I could swap them back by clicking that button again. Another thing you could do is if you notice there's a little color swatch next to highlights and another one next to shadows. Just click on one of those color swatches and you'll see in the case of a Mac computer the colors picker dialog comes up. Now I don't own on one photo raw 2018 for windows so i'm not sure what will happen for you windows users when you click that swatch i'm hoping a similar color picker comes up for you but it will be unique to windows because i know this color picker is unique to mac what you could do with the colors picker is pick a color now with a mac you could choose the exact type of color picker you want to use Let's keep it on the color wheel. And you could see that then I could just move it around to just put any color I want, in this case, on the highlights. And as I spin it around, you could see it's being applied to the image. And if you look over at the split tone panel, you'll see the hue slider moving around as I move this as well. So I could use this to dial in a, uh, an adjustment for highlights. Then when I'm done, I close it, and then I could go to Shadows and click on that swatch and get a similar uh, color picker for shadows. And I could use any type of color picker I want. I could do this one too if I want. So you could, again, just come in here and pick a color with a color picker by clicking on either of those swatches. So you tone the image. You know, you could be done, but one thing that is unique to the split tone panel in On One Photo Raw 2018 that isn't found in other programs, at least the, the ones that I've used that have split toning available, is the mode drop down way down at the bottom. And you can see right down, right now, it says normal. Now, these are typical blend modes that you would find in Photoshop. And you know, probably most often you want to use normal, but the other ones might come in handy as well. With color, your toning will only affect the colors. It will not affect any luminance value, so it will not affect your brightness and your highlights and your shadow values of brightness. So that might be uh, better. It kind of preserves the luminance values you process the image for when you did your tone and color adjustments. Now, the next one down is lighten. You'll tend to make it a little lighter, your image a little lighter. Darken, of course, makes your image a little darker. And of course, this will always vary depending on what settings you used for your highlights and your shadows. Multiply makes it even a little darker, and screen makes it a little lighter. So screen is a lighter version of lighten. So lighten lightens a little, screen lightens even more. Darken darkens a bit. Multiply darkens even more. Color will only affect the colors and hopefully leave your luminance values intact. And normal is, uh, for lack of a better way to describe it, it just really is um, just affecting the image like a normal split toning uh, adjustment might do from other software manufacturers, most notably Lightroom. So that would be what normal does. So you could come in here and kind of sample these out and maybe you like one over the other let's say i like lighten i like what it did to my image there's 
before and there's after. Kind of subtle, but it did it. Let's make something a little more. There's before and there's after. So I like this split toning. It's kind of unique. There really isn't a preset style for this. So I could create my own preset style and I want to apply then it, that it's very, it will be very easy then to apply this look to multiple images or to any image in the future if I create my own preset style. And to do that, click on more, click save new style, and I'll call it um, Tony's oops, split tone, like that, click save. Now, let's just reset this whole thing by clicking that a reset arrow right there. Now if I want to just quickly uh, come in here and put my signature preset split toning style to this image, click the drop down and you'll see right at the top is Tony's split tone. I could click on that. It will automatically adjust the sliders for the image. Now if I think, you know, down the future I say, well, you know, I really want my shadows more towards orange. So I'm going to move it that way more towards red. So that's cool. I want to update this style. I don't want to create a new style. I just want to update the one I have. So I'll click on more and I'll go update style with current settings. And then it comes up with this warning dialog. We'll click update. And now to reset this, it will have that new reset style. So it's going to always come up with the highlights more towards orange. Now, if I find I'm never using a style, if let's say I have a bunch of them and I want to delete some, click on more, click delete a style. It's going to ask you which style you wish to delete. Now, I only created one and it will only allow you to, to delete the ones you created. So I'm going to delete Tony split tone and click on delete. So it's gone. It's not in that drop down anymore. So that's probably everything you'll ever want to know about the split tone panel that's found in the develop module of On One Photo Raw 2018. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.